A downloadable product can be anything that can be delivered as a file, such as an ebook, music, video, software application, or an update. Apart from that, you can also provide the electronic version of your catalog to your customers using the downloadable product. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how we can create the downloadable product and how it appears to the customers at the storefront. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial that please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the storefront and let's see how the downloadable product appears to the customers at the storefront and then we'll see the rest of the configuration settings at the admin's end. So here we are on the uh, storefront right now and you can see that I'm on one of the categories here that's the watches category and here I have added one downloadable product with the name downloadable product with the price $213. So if I open this downloadable product here we can see the price of the product is $213. And here we also have samples of the downloadable product. So for this example, what I had done is that I had created a downloadable product with two links. One link was having one video and the other link was having one image uh, link. So uh, the uh, customers would be able to download the video as well as the image uh, under the own account panel after they purchased this downloadable product there. So for example, if I want to check the uh, a sample for the video I can tap here on the sample that I've provided from the configuration settings of the uh, uh, downloadable product itself by tapping here on the trailer of the video so if I tap on the trailer of the video you'll be able to see that uh, the particular trailer would be opened up in another screen there so this will take a few seconds there because my internet is kind of a bit slow right now so and here we have the uh, link to preview the image as well so you can see that the video has downloaded and the sample video is uh, being played on this screen so the customers can view the particular uh, sample video to check whether they want to download this particular video or not and they can play it as per their own requirement by tapping here on the play button they can view the particular sample of the video that would be provided within the downloadable product itself. Similarly, we have the image preview as well. So if I tap here on the image preview, the particular image that would be downloaded uh, or that's available within the downloadable product is also visible to the customers there. And the customers can view that image and can choose whether they want to purchase it or not. So after viewing the samples, you can scroll down and here you can see that we have the links. The first link is for the video link. And now it depends upon the configuration settings whether the admin has created the uh, downloadable product with uh, different links and wants the customers to purchase all the links all together or separately so i'll be showing you that as well in a while from now so the first link is for the video link the other one is for the uh, image link and we have uh, what we have done is that we have allowed the customers to purchase the links separately as well so we have a link one and link two here so here as well we have the sample option and from here as well you can view the samples for the video as well as as for the image as well. Now let's see how the customers would be able to purchase a downloadable product. So let's purchase these two links and let's tap them add to cart. The price would be changed as per the requirement there after the selection of the respective links. Now I have added the particular one in the cart. Here we can see that we are going to purchase the link one and link two. Let's proceed to the checkout thereafter. Now here I've already logged into the customer account panel there. Now at the checkout time there will be no shipping method because this is a downloadable product and it has no weight so no shipping would be available there for the same. So because we know that a downloadable product can be anything that you can deliver as a file such as an ebook, music, video, software application or an update. Apart from that it can also be an electronic version of your catalog as well. So let's tap here on the cash and delivery for the time being. Now also uh, if it's an online payment method then the invoice would be generated automatically then uh, after the generation of the invoice the particular downloadable product links would be available under the account panel of the customer there itself and the customers can go to the my downloadable section there and can download the particular files from the links available for the same. So I'll be showing you that as well. So let's place the order with the offline mode here. That's cash on delivery. So in this case, the admin needs to generate the invoice first. So let's give the order details. Order number 15 is there with the link one and link two is there. Now the customers can go to the my downloadable product section 
and here's the order number 15 title is downloadable product the status is pending so that's why no link is available here for the download uh, uh, we'll get a link like this one that you can see so here you can see that for we had, pro, we had purchased two links so we have two different uh, links that we'll be getting after the invoice has been generated for this particular order so let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's enter the username and the password for the same and let's tap on the sign in button thereafter so what I'll be doing first is that I'll be generating the invoice for the order number 15 and then we'll see how the customers can download the product under their uh, my downloadable product section. So here I'll go to sales orders on the orders page. We'll be checking out the order number 15 that uh, was just placed by the customer there. So here's the order number 15. Let's view the order. Now here I'll tap on the invoice option that you can see. This would bring up the section wherein we can generate the invoice for this particular order. I'll scroll down and I'll tap here on the submit invoice button thereafter. So the invoice has been created as you can see here. So if I go to my downloadable section, the status would be changed from pending to available as you can see for the order number 15 one link and second link. We have link one and link two are available for download. So if I tap on the link one, the video portion has been uh, displayed and the customer can view the complete video and can download the same as per the requirement there by tapping on the save video as and uh, the other link link number two for the image if i tap on that the particular image would be popped up on the screens as you can see that itself so that's how the customers can view the uh, downloadable product and can purchase the downloadable products and can download the particular downloadable product files under the my downloadable product section itself now let's see how the admin would be able to create the downloadable products there in the first place so but before that i just wanted to show you one more thing there uh, for the uh, for example if i go to the watches category there and i go to this downloadable product that i had created we had said separate links were available there for purchase, right? Separate links are available for purchase. Now in the back end, if I go to the product section where I created the uh, particular downloadable product. So let uh, this particular catalog section populate itself up. So here's the downloadable product. Now if I go to the downloadable product, I'll just show you how the downloadable product can be created. But before that, let me show you this separate thing as well, separate links, how the separate links can be purchased and how it affects uh, on the uh, product page there. So if I scroll down to the downloadable information section here, uh, downloadable information section, we have set it as is downloadable product and here we have selected links can be purchased separately. Now if I uncheck this and I save this up, and I go to the downloadable product at the storefront and I refresh this particular page here. Now you can see that this downloadable product is having both of the links, link one and the two links are there, but we have to purchase them all together and uh, we are not able to purchase the links separately. So that's how you can provide the links all together as well for the customers to purchase in a, uh, in a bundle kind of a thing there or separately as well as per the requirement. Now let's hop onto the admin backend panel and let's see how we can create a downloadable product. For that, what you need to do is you need to navigate to catalog and then products. Now under the product section, what you need to do is you need to tap here and choose the downloadable product type, right? Now I've already created a downloadable product. So I'll just open that up and I'll show you how we have created the downloadable product. So this is a downloadable product with the name downloadable product. So the very first thing that you need to do is you need to choose the attribute set for the downloadable product. After you've selected the product that you need to create as downloadable product, this particular section would appear. And here you have to select the attribute set that you want to select uh, having the product attributes for the downloadable product. I've chosen it as default for the time being. Then you have to set the name of the downloadable product. So I've set it as downloadable product. The same is visible here at the storefront as well. Then I've set the price. Then I've set the price of the product there. And after setting up the price for the product there, I've selected the quantity. 
I have set the quantity of the product there. After setting up the quantity there, I have set it as in stock. The weight would not be there because this is a downloadable product. Then I have set the category for the downloadable product. Then I have directly come down to the section that says downloadable information. And I have checked this option that says is this downloadable product as yes. And then I have set the links. The title has been set up as links. So the title is visible here links. You can set it up as per your own requirement. So whatever title that you set up here would be visible here on this particular section. Then you can choose to allow links to be purchased separately. If you want that the links can be purchased separately, then uh, you for each of the links that you have added, you can set the price for the same as well. So here you can see that we had set it as uh, links can be per not links cannot be purchased separately. So that's why link one and link two are visible here. But in the previous example, we were able to see that the links were able to be purchased separately as well, and the price of the same was visible as set by the admin from the backend panel configuration settings there. So uh, after that, what you need to do is you need to go to this particular section here and you can upload a file or you can upload a URL as well as per your own requirement there. You can set up the sample file as well. The same for the link to can be done. You can upload a file or a URL uh, and you can upload a file or a URL for the uh, what we say as the sample. The, the file that you are uploading is the main file that the customer would receive after they have purchased the downloadable product and the sample is for the viewing purposes or, or there itself. So you can add multiple links as per your own requirement. Then we have the sample section. Here you can set up the title of the sample. So this would be visible here. The title sample is visible here and you can set up the titles and set up the sample videos or the images that you want to display to your customers on the downloadable product page. So here we have set it as samples and trailer of the video, check the image preview. Trailer of the video, check the image preview itself. Now after configuring this up section up, you have to save this up and then you will have your particular product being displayed on the storefront as per the requirement there as we just saw in the video a while ago there. So yes, that was about this uh, video tutorial there.